Alright, welcome back. Now we're on part two of making animations and let's go here. Now, if you guys already checked through my Google Drive, you should know that I already have the CS underscore animation underscore start. It's basically the files and you could download it. And once you download it, you could just click and drag it here. If you've already made the script, go ahead, but this just saves you time. So once you do here, it will ask you to import everything. You press import packages and once it's done, it will import everything. We're going to take this chapter ch36.node and we're just going to drag it somewhere here. And now we have Mr. Mannequin Man right here. Now if you go into edit, yep, let's just apply changes. If you go into edit, you'll notice it has nothing except the basics so first things first keep that loop on and then add a new component and we're just gonna add the animation states in here now as usual you have these dot anim folders just click and drag them in and once you're done with that let's actually go into the coding part I should definitely change that name so the same way as I did my uh, C sharp I mean C++ we're gonna do the same thing with the C sharp now with C sharp it's exactly the same thing word for word it's just the numbers are different if you've already seen my C++ then you should know this but if you didn't uh, follow along you also have the ability to see how they did it but I think theirs is a little complicated but it it serves the job anyways let's start so first things first what you have inside this script now I have a little private string which holds all our animations and there's a filter on it so it only accepts a dot anim folder and then I have a private object mesh skin which is our main character and then we connected it as node as object mesh skin basically it checks inside node if it has any subclasses that has the same name if it does it connects it to this and if you have a fail safe or like a try catch method, go ahead. For now, we don't need it. So, first things first, we're gonna set the amount of animation layers. Now, uh, just like in C++, I can set all of them, but I rather you guys do it as homework, as practice. So we're just gonna set one of them. Now in C sharp, it says set num layers, but that's kind of wrong because it doesn't really have a function like that. It has a get set method of num layers. So if we go into main character dot num layers, now we can set how many layers we want. We're just gonna set one layer. Uh, you have four over here. So for future practices, make sure to just write four. For now, I'm just gonna choose one. The next thing we're gonna do is actually not follow the script and go here and use the add animation. So we go main character dot add animation and it's gonna ask for a certain argument and it's asking for a string path. So we're just gonna take the animation we want and we're just gonna click it here and we add it. Now you'll also notice it has an int overload meaning it gives all, it returns a number. So we're gonna actually use that. So let's just call it underscore idle idle equals to main character and you'll see why we need that in a moment now we have a specific number the next thing we're gonna do is actually go back up here and we're gonna do the second step now why did I do the add animation first then the set layer um, first we need to add the animation into the main characters um, database so it knows what we added now we can set the layer now we can choose what layer we can do now I'll just uh, let me just write it now as you look into the arguments it's asking for what layer enabled and flow weight you could have done this before but we don't really remember uh, things until we do stuff so uh, looking at it procedurally it's asking which layer at the moment we're gonna choose the layer that we have the idle animation and we're going to choose this number and then over here it's gonna ask for enabled or disabled we're gonna choose true that means it will play and then float weight the weight is how much are you gonna play of this uh, object we're gonna talk more about this in detail for the next episode but for now let's just keep it as one if you're gonna make your own practice with the other animations make sure their weight is zero 
so it doesn't like overlap next we're gonna do the final thing which is the set animation so main character dot set animation is gonna ask for which layer and which animation so zero comma and then the int animation this is where you actually add this guy here I believe I added it here set layer this is gonna give us an error so we're gonna do set layer number zero because our layer number is first on the list and in computer first on the list is zero so we're gonna set that zero don't set that as the same number that's a different number and we're done with setting it up now the last option we got to do is actually use the set frame function now we have everything set up we just don't have the ability to call it every frame so what we're gonna do is main character dot set frame meaning every frame what um, frame of the animation do you want us to play so let's just add this it's gonna ask us which layer right now we're gonna do zero because it's simple um, then it's gonna ask us for the frame so for the frame itself we can do our own complex computation or we could just go into game dot time and it's gonna ask for the time meaning every second it will set a frame and then in one second how many frames do you want now if you already had like let's say a public um, I don't know int FPS you could just add it here so we're just gonna do a standard 30 meaning in one second we're gonna have 30 frames per second for this animation and that should be everything so without further ado let's just wait for the import so without further ado let's press play and now we have our guy in idle animation just chilling and because we had the loop on inside here it's looping if we had it off he would stop moving after a few seconds or after you went over the count that it needed all right, I guess that's the basics. The homework I have for you guys is to set up all of the rest of them and maybe add your own like methods and stuff. But when you set their layers, I want you to set their floats as zero so it doesn't interfere. Because if you set all of them one, the one on the bottom most, so let's say you had like four of these lines, like here, 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 and this was like one two and three all these three would be overwritten by the last one so your main character would only be playing that one uh, anyways that's the main for how to set up animation through code next episode we're gonna choose how to blend and once we choose how to blend we're also gonna choose how to actually change it by pressing buttons so it moves properly all right i think i talked enough and goodbye guys